So if you've never solved a cube before, it may seem impossibly hard, but today I'll be teaching you a method that I use to teach many people who did not believe they'd ever be able to solve the cube. And if anything along the way becomes unclear and you need more examples, then you can check the example solve, which I have a link to in the description. With that being said, it's time for you to solve your first cube. So the first thing you do is find the white centerpiece and hold that on top. Next what you do is solve the white cross, but we also need the colors on the side to line up. So here's how you do it. Find a white piece on the bottom layer, um, like this one, but not this one. This one is a corner piece that has three colors on it. We want these ones, these edge ones in the middle. So we're going to take this one, uh, make sure you have the white on top, take this piece from the bottom and just move it along the bottom until you find that it's underneath the correct colored center because this one's white and green and this one is a green center. So then what you do once it's there is just move it up to the top by turning the green face 180 degrees. So basically just do that until you solve the entire white cross and these colors on the side also line up. But I'm gonna show you what might happen that will be a bit tricky. So here I have found a white and orange piece. So I will move it down along the bottom until it's under the orange center and then turn it 180 degrees till it's on the top but these colors should be switched. So what you do in this case is move this over to the side here like this, and then turn the top counterclockwise, move this up here, and then put everything back. And lastly, what could happen is you're looking for the last piece of the cross and it's not anywhere on the bottom. Uh, it might be in the middle here. So if it's in the middle, what you can do is just move it into the bottom. We'll move it down into the bottom, move it out of the way so that we can fix this cross piece. And now you can just solve it as usual. All right, once you've solved the whole cross, make sure all these side colors match up with the centers as well, then just turn the cube upside down. So now I'm gonna teach you a really important sequence of four moves that will help you with everything else in the cube. So just hold the cube like I am, put your left thumb on the front here, and then put your right thumb on the bottom, fingers up here, and then do this. Turn the right side up, turn the top with your right hand like that, turn the right side down, and then turn the top with your left hand like this. Now just repeat that. So right side up, push with the right hand, Right side down, push with left hand. So do it a few times so you can do it quick. And now we're also gonna be learning how to do that with our left hand, because it's gonna be important as well. So hold your left hand like this, right thumb on front, and then move up with your left hand, push with your left hand, move down and push with your right hand. Up, push with left, down, push with right. Okay, so once you can do both of those, we're now going to be solving the rest of the white side. So what you have to do is look in the top for a corner with white on it, such as this one, and then look at the other colors on it as well. There's this green and this is orange. So these three make up one piece. And so we have to look at where that needs to go. So it goes between the white, green, and orange centers. White, orange, green. So it goes over here. So we're gonna move the top until it goes right on top of where it should go. And then now you can insert this into here using two different ways. And uh, one way is by holding it on the right side like this, and then doing the right hand four moves. One, two, three, four. And, oh, it just happened to be solved. But sometimes you'll have to repeat it before it ends up being solved. So here's another example. Here's white, green, red. So it goes between white, green, and red centers. So we're gonna move the top until it goes right up above where it should go. And then we're going to repeat those moves. But this time it's on the left side. So we could actually do that with our left hand. So once, not solved yet, twice, three times, and there we go. Now something that might happen is you have a corner that's stuck on the bottom here and you need to take it out in order to keep solving. So if that happens, you can just hold it here and then take it out using the same moves, so like that. And then you can just go on as usual. Okay, so once you've done that for every corner, then just check to make sure all these colors here are also correct. And then we're gonna go on to the second layer, so this part. So since the top center here is yellow, your first job is to find an edge piece, one of these pieces on the top that don't have yellow on it. In this case, it's going to be this one over here. It's got blue and orange. So just put it on the front and then move it around so that it matches up with the center. Now, this has orange and blue. So blue's on the right, green's on the left for the centers. So since it's orange and blue, it needs to go over to the right side. It needs to go over here. So since it needs to go to the right, the first thing we're actually gonna do is move it away, move it towards the left side like that. Then what we do, this you'll just have to memorize, take this corner out using your right hand. So again, using those four moves that I taught earlier. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna reinsert this corner, but using our left hand. So like this, one, two, three, four. 
and then there we go. And then another example, here we have a non-yellow edge on top, it's got red and blue, so match up the front color red with the red center, and this has blue on it, so the right side is green, the left side is blue, so it must be going to the left side. So if it needs to go to the left side, you follow the same rules as before, just the other way. So if it needs to go to the left, push to the right first, like that, and then take out this left corner with your left hand, and then put it back in using your right hand, so make sure you're holding it like this. And there we go. So just like with the corners, if you find that an edge is already in there, uh, just take another piece, such as like any random piece, and then put it in there. So you should know how to put pieces in there, and then this one will come out. And then you can just do it as usual after that. All right, so once you finish the first two layers, next we'll be doing the top cross, the yellow cross. So we're just looking at the edges, and if you see that you have no edges already done, then it's just a dot. And then what you do is you turn the front clockwise like this, then do the right-handed four moves that I taught earlier. So one, two, three, four. And then undo that front move. We're gonna ignore the corners here. If you see that you have like an L shape, then put that on the top left and then do it again. So like this, and then four moves, and then undo. So now if you get a horizontal line, make sure you're not holding it vertical. If it's horizontal, then you would just do that again. Once the cross is done, just like with the first cross, we want to try and line up as many pieces as we can. So here I've lined up green and orange, but I have not lined up the other two. So you're either going to be able to line up all four, in which case, great, you're done this step, or you can only line up two. So you want to hold these two solved ones so that one's at the back and one's at the right. Now, um, if you can't do that, if they're across from each other, then just do this algorithm from anywhere. And this algorithm goes like this. So you move the right side up, you move this pair of pieces, pay attention to this pair, you move it to the left, and you put the right side back down. Then you keep moving this to the left all the way till it's on the very left side. And then you move the right side up again and put it all the way back in, so like that. All right, so if you've done that correctly, you should now be able to line up everything. All right, the next step is to get all of the corners into the correct spot. So this one, you can see it's yellow, orange, blue, and it's got yellow, blue, red centers around it, so it's not in the right spot. This one's not in the right spot, this one is in the right spot. Yellow, orange, green, yellow, orange, green. Now, if all of them are in the right spot already, then you're done this step. But if only one is correct, then hold it on the front right. If none are correct, then just do this algorithm from anywhere. And the algorithm goes like this. Turn the top with your right hand, right side up. Same thing with your left hand. Turn with your left hand, left side up. Now, all the same thing again, but downwards. Turn the top with your right hand, right side down. Turn the top with your left hand, left side down. All right, so this one's still in the right spot, so just keep your finger on that and check all the other ones. And uh, nope, they're not in the right spot yet, so then just do it again. Right hand, right side up, left hand, left side up, right hand, right side down, left hand, left side down. And then now every corner is in the right spot, but not necessarily flipped correctly, as you can see from these two. Um, so every corner is in the right spot now, and so once you get to this step, you should turn everything upside down. So get all these corners in the bottom layer, and now we're just going to solve them one by one. But make sure you pay attention to how this works, because if you make a mistake, you could mess up the whole cube. Okay, so we're going to start by solving this bottom right corner. So we're going to do those four moves with our right hand until this one is solved. So one, two, three, four, and there it is, it's solved. So once you've done that, then start doing the next corner, but make sure you bring the next corner over by turning the bottom layer. Don't rotate the whole cube or you'll mess things up. So just turn the bottom layer over to get the next corner and then repeat. And now that one's solved. So bring over the next one, repeat. This one's solved, bring over the next one. And then there you go. So if you're new to this channel, what I do here is make tutorials on how to get faster at the Rubik's Cube, as well as different things like blindfolded, one hand, bigger cubes like 4x4 and 5x5. So you can check the description below for any of those videos, as well as a video to a full example solve using the beginner method, in case anything you think needs to be cleared up. And if you have a question about anything, you can leave it in the comments, and I actually do reply to most of them. And lastly, if you like what you see here and you'd like to support my channel, then I'd really appreciate it if you checked out patreon.com slash jperm. So anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, now I'm doing a full example solve, but I assume you already have the general idea of how all these work, so I'm just going to go a little bit faster. So here I'm going to try to solve the white cross. 
orange is already done. Uh, here I have green. 